conference desk. Brought to you by Xfinity, America's best internet service provider, according to speedtest.net. The WNBA has plans to start the 2020 season. They're looking at 22 regular season games plus playoffs, all to be played at one spot in Florida. Now that target date is set for late July, so teams like the Connecticut Sun don't have a lot of time to prep, but they know there's a huge opportunity in front of them. We are going to get eyes on our game like we've never got before. There's a starving for sports in this world right now. We still have to balance that out with providing them a great opportunity to put the best product that we can on the floor. And players have until June 25th to opt into the season. All right, next week, UConn Athletics is expected to present plans to cut about $10 million from its spending over the next three years. Now, some programs worried that could mean cutting sports, but they're not just going to sit around and wait. And advocating for the hundreds of track athletes from all walks of life. It would be robbing so many of the incredible experience that shaped me. Heartfelt pleas from UConn track and field alumni. I am trusting colleges like yourself to make the right decision. A hope to save their sport from potential budget cuts. Dozens of speakers took up the entire public comment portion of the UConn Board of Trustees Financial Affairs Committee meeting last week. And UConn means something special to each and every one of us on a personal level. When our school is in need, all of us are going to come running. And those heartfelt words put to action long before they ever spoke them. If you would have told me what we would have done over the next 10 days, there's no way I would have believed you. In just 10 days, the group filled a Facebook page with stories spanning decades and raised more than $1.5 million. At the end of the day, this is a partnership between the alumni and the, the university administration and the athletic administration. And they're not going it alone. UConn men's tennis alumni have taken on the same challenge. It's the last um, uh, state-sponsored men's varsity tennis program in New England, period. This alumni group trying to save a program in hopes of helping a whole sport. So far, they've raised more than $300,000 in pledges. It would be unfathomable to, for me if uh, my alma mater gave up on, on, on tennis, and, and so I'm going to do whatever it takes. But for tennis and track, the one thing they won't do is get frustrated. But it's unfortunate that the situation is what it is, but you just have to have trust and faith that they'll be able to do what they feel is best fit, and we're going to support that. All right, Brent. So next week they have uh, Wednesday circled on the calendar, all those teams. We will certainly be watching to see how that develops as well. UConn Athletics expected to present that proposal to the Board of Trustees. Mike. That support is amazing. Thanks, Gabby. We'll be right back.